Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a super useful feature that is drill down in charts here. If you have ever wanted your charts to do more than just look pretty, like helping users interact with the data and explore the depth of the chart as well, then this video is for you. I will walk you through the working of the drill down in charts. For example, I have a pie chart here. In the pie chart, the title here is revenue by category and a message is written here that click on a slide for detailed breakdown basically like it is saying that what are the different sources of revenues here and if you click on any particular source if you see here hyperlink is appearing when I am hovering over the pie chart let's say that if we click on services here so you can see that again service breakdown will show here services breakdown so you can see here here it is showing the breakdown for services like what are the different services provided and there is another button as to show the details and one button to go back as well if you click on the online marketplace here it will show you the details like what are the online marketplaces available for example these are the categories obviously services here channel you can see online marketplaces and the different items are listed there if I click on direct sales then direct sell data will load up here let's say that user don't want to see one by one data for all the chart they want to see all the data so for that part here we have added added show details button here if you click on the show details button all the details of this graph will show up here and again if you want to go to the chart you can go to the chart as well and anytime you can come back to the category breakdown again so you can see that it is multi-layer nested graph which will give us a complete overview about any particular category as well we can click on any category and we will get the details for that or we can get all the details about that particular categories as well well. So we will see that step by step how can we do that here. Now we will start the step by step development for that. So before starting the development for this data I have used some record types here. So let's get an overview of the record type. First of all in the first graph you can see a revenue by category. So we need some fixed categories on which we can calculate the revenue. So for that I have created a record type here revenue category. It has just two fields one is the primary key and another one is the category here. And if you want to see the data for that here you can see the data so these are the idpk and these are the different category products services digital and another and after that when we click on a particular category here then we get more details about that category so how these details are populating here so for that we have created another record type here revenue items like like listing all the items here so here you can see category id is a foreign key here and we have created a many to one relationship here and after that item names are there amount is there reason date customer name every detail is there so here you can see all the details have been listed and we need to prepare a pie chart a drill down pie chart for that now let's move to the interface part here so here is the interface part so very first thing that what we will do here is we will take a card layout and in this card layout we will drag a pie chart here so this will be our first pie chart that will be made for the revenue category so you can now after that we will take another card layout here below this card and in that card layout again we will drag a pie chart here basically this pie chart will be for the breakdown part here so you can write here breakdown and just below this card layout we will take a grid here so that that breakdown details we will be able to see in the grid here and now what we have to do is we have to customize each of the pie chart here let's go to the first pie chart here once you drag a pie chart here here the data will automatically be some populated you can select the record type as the data source and now in the record type we will search here revenue here you can select revenue item once you have selected item here it will automatically group with some fields here here what we want to group here is we will remove the item name and we will group through here category but category id we will not choose if you choose the category id what it will do here is one two three four it will show we want the name of the category so we have created a relation here with category so here you can see in the record that there is a many to one relation for revenue item and that same we are using here so see here our first graph is ready here and we need the count of idpk show the data levels and so as percentage as well 
so that is the first part that we needed here after let's say that a particular category is selected so it will get stored in a local variable so we will create a local variables here and we will store in our local bank selected category variable and let's go in our chart here so if you go to the pie chart after the data limit you can add a link in the pie chart here and let's add a dynamic link we want to save the data whatever is the selection so local bank selected category and fv bank selection now the graph has become selectable let's select digital here so see here this is the map of data but you can further select directly the values as well how just copy this primary grouping and paste it here so next time when i click on the services i won't get a map i will directly get services here so our first selection has been done here now let's move to our second graph here the second graph is the breakdown part here and here we will select the revenue item here and here again it has grouped here so we will remove this grouping and this time we will group through the channel here basically it will show like what channel it is going to be after that here as well we will show the data labels we will show the percentage as well like how many channels are currently present there so this part is also done now this will also be linkable here so we will need another variable now and in this selected channel let's go to our pie chart here so here you can see the channel this is the another pie chart and here channel grouping is there so here again we will just copy paste what we have written here in the link part just copy this data here and now let's paste the link here in our local bank selected channel we are giving and instead of category we can write here channel so this part is also ready if you click on a channel here what will happen that particular channel will get selected now both our pie chart have been ready here after that it is the time to configure the grid here what data will show so here we have selected the record type here and you can see here all the data is listed but we don't need all the data we need that data first of all a category is selected then a channel is selected so it should get filtered with both the values here so let's go in the expression mode here currently it is record type so we will change is to record data and the record type is going to be here revenue item cut it from here and let's paste it here after this we will apply the filters here we will apply two filters here so let's write our first filter the first filter is going for the category revenue item dot relation dot revenue dot category directly because we are not getting the idpk we are directly searching with services here and now i have completed the other parts as well make sure that to use the apply when as well once the value is null the grid should not break at all and i guess comma is missing and same filter we will just apply for the channel as well so just copy and paste it and instead of the category part here we will add here fields for channel because the second grouping was our channel only and all this value we have selected the channel here here as well we will use the channel that's it so now our grid data is also ready if you select direct cells here the direct cells value will show up here now the next thing that is remaining is how can we add a back button and show details button so for this part here we will need a another variable that is show grid local bank show grid and initially the grid will be false because no grid will show here now after that initially this particular card will not show at all only if some selection has been done then only this card will show so we will add a show when condition for this card here so here we will add a show when here is not null or empty category so if user has not selected any category then it should not show at all so you can see here this particular card will not show as of now data is there click on test here then this will not show and if something is selected then this revenue category should not show at all so we will add another show when here as well so here we will add the show when so it will be the opposite condition of that so it is basically it is null or empty only local bank selected category that's it so selected category is null then only it should show so click on test here so if i select the services here revenue category will not show at all see here breakdown and grid are showing here now we have to worry about these two graphs like how can we manage that so in this card layout we will add another columns layout so that we can add the buttons as well here so let's go to our design and let's add a columns layout here and here we will add the button so one button will be here and another button will be here 
okay i guess it columns layout is not inside the graph so make sure that it is inside the second card layout here paste it here so in, it is inside the second card layout now now the first button we will configure here it will be the back button style we will keep it to link here and we will add an icon as well so that it will be easy to users to locate so the icon is going to be left icon so this icon we will use it here so it will be back button now what this button will do basically basically this button purpose is that when somebody will click on the back button then why this card is showing here because there is a category selected here and if category is null there then this card will not show here so it will have one purpose that make the category null selected category we will make it here null and let's test this functionality once click on back button if this becomes null see nothing is showing here so if i select the digital again so again these things will come up here so back button is configured now the second button is show details it should show the details or it should show the chart as well so i will add an if condition here because this button will have two purpose it will show the details as well it will show the chart as well if local bank show grid it, if it is true means grid is showing here so i want to add that show chart here and now we will add an icon as well for this now for the icon i have added a condition if it is true then show pie chart otherwise show align justify something like this after this we have to add a save into and what should be actually saved here see here if initially this grid will not show at all if somebody has clicked on show details here so this grid should load up all the data here and this pie chart will not show at all here in the save into we will add a condition here that if let's say that initially show grid is false if it is false then we will save here true local bank so grid will be saved as true value else it will get saved as false here so initially you can see here this grid is still showing so we will add a condition in the grid what will be the condition here see one condition is very much clear here that when the grid is show grid is true then only the value should show one condition is this one here and the second condition is that so great but this will become true only when somebody will click on the button part but what about this link here if i click on this link this obviously will be remain false only so we will add another condition that not null or empty second selection the channel selection should be not null or empty then also it can show local bank selected channel so if it is not null, then also it can show up here for example if i click on this channel partner here basically this grid will now load up and show up that particular value if i click on show details here then this pie chart should not show all the grid data should show but it is not happening right okay let's do one thing here in our save into basically what we are doing here is we are saving the data right let's make the other condition as a list here and in this list basically come if i click on show details here this grid should become true but it is not becoming true here why if if it is false oh then we are saving false only let's save the opposite conditions here and now let's try it click on show details here and now the it will show and now you, you can see the button name is changing here show chart and show details here and if i click on the show details part still the grid is not showing all the data basically this channel is still there no that is why so we will make this channel as well null so local bank selected channel should also become null then only all the data can be shown here click on the show chart once so it has become false that is fine click on show details it became null and it will show all the details for the show channel here so that has been done but this pie chart should not show at all so we will add a show when condition here that it is not of or of local bank show grid basically if grid is true then it should show otherwise it should not show see here if i click on the show chart here then it is showing here if i click on the back button then i am back to the category here let's try to run it once again if i click on the digital here so you can see here the breakdown of digital is coming up here and if i click on the show details all the details will show for the digital here basically category id 3 is there because in the grid we can make that changes click on the show chart as well all the charts will show if i click on the online marketplace and that's it 
and that's how you can easily add drill down functionality to your charts. It's a small feature with a big impact when it comes to making your apps more interactive and user friendly. So that was all for now guys. Thank you.